The stunning decision has left faculty and staff shocked and disappointed. Our Ray Strickland shares how this closure is also impacting young people who are planning to attend the university. Here, Katie, congratulations. Reading her admissions letter from the University of the Arts, Katie Hornberger remembers how she felt when she first learned she was accepted into college. I called my entire family. I stepped out of class and I, I called my whole family and I was over the moon. I told all my friends, my teachers, they were the first ones to hear it. I was like, I got into college. It was a dream come true for Hornberger, who recently graduated from Downington West High School. But her excitement was short-lived. The University of Arts suddenly announced Friday night that it will close on June 7th. A shock to Hornberger, who found out on social media. It was a huge disappointment for her, as she had already made a $500 deposit to attend the university, and she was also getting ready to make arrangements to move to Philadelphia. I was ready with everything. I made my account, my portal. I even got my email, my school email. And now it's like, I'm not even sure where I'm going to live or where I'm going to go. In a letter sent to the UARTS community, President Kerry Walk and Chair of the Board of Trustees, Justin Aaron, called the closure a deeply painful outcome, citing declining enrollment and budget woes. They said, quote, the situation came to light very suddenly. As a result, the Middle States Commission on Higher Education withdrew its accreditation for the school. The university says it will do what it can to help students transfer to other area schools. People are absolutely nervous and scared. Bradley Filbert is a faculty member and the vice president for the faculty's union. Filbert says there are around 700 staff members who are now looking for new jobs. But as for when the paychecks are going to stop, when benefits are going to run out, we have a contract that we're looking to enforce as a union. Um, but you know, we'll see what the university is in a position to do as well. We're going to fight them the whole way. So, yes, a lot of unanswered questions that faculty, students, and everyone else affected by this situation are hoping to get answered during a series of town halls. We know the first one will be held on June 3rd. More specific details will be announced at a later date. Reporting in Philadelphia, Ray Strickland, CBS News, Philadelphia.